So you have seen how we could make a very interesting device using these semiconductors just by making a PN junction. From one side it allows current, from other side it does not allow current and when it allows current then uh, you change that uh, applied voltage a little bit and you see how the current varies, it varies in a non-linear fashion, exponential fashion. So, we have obtained uh, something which is uh, very different from our normal resistances. Okay? So, if you have this uh, PN junction and you have the depletion layer, say this is uh, P side, this is N side and this is the depletion layer. This is of width x1, this is of width x2 and you connect P side to a higher voltage that is the forward biasing and this uh, allows current. What happens? By putting this uh, voltage, by applying this voltage, you lower that barrier and then the diffusion takes place uh, uh, in large amounts. So, if you have electrons here, you have large number of electrons here, majority carriers, majority carriers, they diffuse. So, these majority carriers go through this depletion layer and appear here at the edge. Now, this uh, is called, so there is a movement of electrons from this side to that side and therefore, a current from uh, left to right. Now, this is also known as minority carrier injection. Why minority carrier? These are the majority carriers which are diffusing and we call uh, this phenomena as minority carrier injection. This injection is in this uh, portion, in this portion. This is P side and in P side holes are the majority carriers and electrons are the minority carriers. And we have put in extra minority carriers here, extra electrons here. So, that is known as minority carrier injection and similarly, you have lot uh, number of holes here, majority carriers and uh, because of this lowering of uh, this barrier, these holes diffuse and appear here on this side and on this side it becomes minority carrier because this is N side and the holes are will be called, will be labeled as minority carriers. So, this is minority carrier injection. And then for these minority carriers, you have a concentration gradient. Now, I am talking of uh, the mechanism of uh, current once you have a forward bias. So, for these uh, electrons for example here, you have large concentration here because of this diffusion, because of this injection and as you go away from the depletion region, you have uh, less, very less number of uh, minority carriers here. So, you have a concentration gradient once again and therefore, there will be a diffusion of these carriers. These is now minority carriers which are diffusing from right to left from the edge of the depletion layer to this contact here, to this contact here. And if uh, this width is uh, sizable, then in the process, these electrons can combine with the holes because there are so many holes sitting here. So, the electron when combines with the hole that charge uh, this uh, uh, stability or the charge uh, equilibrium or steady state condition that will be disturbed. Okay? Uh, because uh, the electron has come from uh, outside and it has been, uh, it has gone that is alright, but the hole has also gone together with it. And if a hole has gone, that means the negative charge uh, has appeared. So, somewhere that negative charge is to be withdrawn. So, this, uh, this cell which has to maintain the potential difference and if charges uh, change here, then that potential difference will change. And so, this cell will do the required job to maintain the potential difference that is the 
that the job of the, of cell all that chemistry inside the cell is for that to maintain a potential difference and so if uh, this electron combines with a hole and if this hole goes out negative charge appears so one electron has to be withdrawn so one electron is withdrawn at this contact and then the electron goes this way the current goes this way so similar is the story on this side also the holes are having large concentration here at the edge of the depletion layer and on the other side towards that contact they have to diffuse and during diffusion they can combine with uh, this electron and one electron can go and if one electron goes from there once again the negative charge goes and therefore this uh, circuit will supply an electron through this contact here to compensate that so that is how the current goes and all these things are in a controlled fashion you control that biasing voltage and then you control all varieties of the phenomena here and resulting current also okay so on the forward bias side you had your iv characteristics exponentially going like this whereas on the reverse side you have almost zero current almost negligible current if you change the scale here micro amperes this is milli amperes then perhaps you are able to see on this uh, plot so this is what we discussed now symbols for this diode you had seen the diode uh, uh, yesterday we, i showed you the actual diode that you obtain in the in the market if you go okay this circuit i we had shown so that diode is uh, in circuits we all the time we do not do draw these rectangles the symbol for that is you draw a triangle this kind of triangle isosceles triangle and put a line at this vertex and then these are two lines here so this is the symbol for diode so whenever in the circuit we have to show a diode we will be putting this so I, if i redraw this circuit it will look like this i have a, a cell i have a resistance and then i have a diode and like this and in this symbol this uh, side here this base side this is known as this is uh, this represents p side and this uh, vertex here and a line here this represents n side so when i draw my circuit in this fashion what i am telling i am telling that the p side is connected to the positive of the battery the n side is connected to the negative of the battery so this is how the symbols are made okay then uh, for several applications uh, we can approximate our diode characteristic in in different fashion and uh, one application that i'll be uh, dealing today that is known as rectification i'll just tell what it is rectification means you have uh, an ac source ac potential source ac voltage and from that you make a dc potential dc source dc voltage from ac voltage you make a dc voltage very very useful thing necessary thing because all the power that we obtain our how in our households is uh, ac power right alternating current power and uh, all the gadgets that we use most of them laptop or camera or uh, phone mobile phones they need dc current they need dc power they need dc voltages to operate and that's why you always have a charger together with your uh, equipment and the charger goes in that socket and the other end goes into your equipment and in between there is some thing which actually converts this ac from the mains 
to DC and then supplies that DC to your equipment. So, that making DC voltage from AC voltage is known as rectification and uh, using this diode the basic element of rectification you can obtain. But for that I will uh, take a uh, model or I will model this diode this uh, IV characteristics in the forward biased condition you see that uh, you have large current at least after some uh, few uh, tenth of a volt you have large current. So, uh, a slight change in voltage gives lot many large change in I you can say that the resistance here is very very small. Whereas, in reverse you apply so much of voltage and you do not get current significant current. So, the resistance is very very high and I will approximate this as in forward bias. we will assume that resistance is negligible. Resistance offered by the diode is negligible, whereas in reverse bias resistance offered is very very high. Okay. So, if I draw a IV characteristics corresponding to this situation that will be something like this. Okay, it will just uh, it is 0, it is 0 here and then it is it suddenly it goes like this. Okay, so, this is I and this is V. So, for the reverse bias there is no current uh, resistance offered is infinity it is open circuit it is like open circuit. Whereas, uh, once it is forward biased you do not the diode does not offer any resistance and it goes the current goes very high. Now, why this uh, uh, peculiar drastic uh, approximation is it uh, anywhere close to the reality? Yes, it is because for forward bias the circuit has some resistance, the circuit has some resistance. So, if this resistance is small as compared to that circuit resistance if this approximation is not bad and similarly in reverse bias. Uh, this if this resistance offered by this is uh, very large as compared to the circuit uh, resistance outside circuit resistance uh, is not that bad. And whatever is, is happening we are shifting this line this line this large change towards origin, but this is uh, only 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.0 like that volts and therefore, if the voltage is in the circuit in the actual application is uh, much more than that, then uh, that shifting is also not uh, very bad. So, depending on what application you are doing that uh, models are to be developed to understand that uh, mechanism that physics. Okay. So, let me let me talk more about this uh, rectification, how this rectification is done or can be done or at least uh, the basic unit it can be developed using this diode. So, suppose you have an AC source, AC source means your uh, potential V, potential difference V the voltage is applied it is some constant times cos or sin omega t like this and AC sources are shown by this symbol. So, you have uh, two ends and the voltage which appears here the potential difference which appears here is this V. And then let us say you have uh, put this uh, resistance here let us say this is just a resistance what will happen you know what is what will happen you will have a current and that current will be some uh, V by R, V naught by R cos omega t that is it. And if I ask what is the voltage appearing on this resistor. So, that will be same as the voltage appearing here if the connecting wire do not have uh, resistances then whatever voltage is here potential is here that same potential is here whatever potential is here the same potential is here. 
So if I say that this is 0, if I call this as 0, then this potential here will be just V0 cos omega t and that means it will change sign. So the current will go in one direction and then current will go in other direction and so on. The current will change sign with the frequency guided by this omega, this is angular frequency. So whatever is uh, that frequency, our mains comes at 50 hertz. So if I put my mains here, then uh, this will be 50 hertz cycling. That is what happens when I put my uh, filament bulb or a heater in, in, the, in that the socket, 5 ampere socket. So through that heater coil, the current uh, keeps changing the direction and voltage across that will be again changing the directions. Now what happens if I put a diode in between? Okay. So let me put a diode in between. Let me put just a p-n junction here, just a p-n junction here. And let me call this point as A and this point as B. So, and this is 0, this is all v 0. So, what is VA? Potential at A, VA. That will be just uh, is the potential difference between the source. So, let this be V0 cos omega t and the question is what is VB? So, if there is a current I, if there is a current I in this direction, then this Vb will be equal to I times R, right? Ohm's law between this point and this point. If the current is I, this Vb minus 0 will be just I into R. So what is I? And for that, we have to use the property of this diode. So if uh, if I show this uh, voltage on this uh, graph time this side and V A this side. So, it is just V naught cos omega t. So, it is like this. So, I should go to the same height and all those things which I will not be able to do. like this. Okay, okay, it's not a good drawing, but you bear with me, but let me improve, try to improve. This should go to the same height, so let it, let it be up to here, then uh, again it is up to here and so on. Alright, now with the same scale, if I draw Vb as a function of time. Till here, till this time, till this time, what is happening? Va is positive. So, this has a positive voltage. This is a positive voltage. Your P side is connected to a positive voltage and then uh, this will be connected to this zero side. So, higher potential here and lower potential here, this is forward biased. And if this is forward biased and in our uh, uh, model or in our approximation, we take that forward biased resistance to be negligible, then it is just the old circuit, it is just a short circuit. So, it is just this, this portion is shorted. So, you just have a wire and like this. And so, your uh, VB will be same as VA and you will have this part. The same, same story. I should copy paste here, but I cannot do that. So, just like that. After that, during this period what happens? During this period, this time, Va is negative. So, this is at 0, 
but this is at negative. So that means this is the higher potential side and this is the lower potential side. So if P is connected to the lower potential side, N is connected to the higher potential side and this is reverse bias. And if it is reversed bias and if it uh, offers very large resistance, if I call that resistance as infinity, no current flows through this. No current flows through this. So, in that case, this I is 0 and therefore, the potential here is same as potential here. V is equal to potential difference is I times R, I is 0. So, the potential here is 0, potential here is 0, potential here is 0. So, V B will be 0. So, this uh, in this period, this V B remains 0. And once again, this potential becomes positive. So, in this period, you have a current like this or voltage like this and the current will be here. Then in this period, you have a reverse bias and the voltage is 0. There is no current. So, remove this arrow. But in this period, once again, it is forward bias and you have current. So, put that arrow back. Okay. So, if I do not put the diode, the current goes in uh, this direction and also in this direction. So, it oscillates the direction of current changes with the frequency given by that omega. But once you put the diode, this uh, current going from uh, this uh, uh, we could this, this point to this point, this side, this direction is not there. Current only goes in one direction. So, current only goes in one direction so, and the other part is just 0. So, the potential difference which appears across this is in fact a DC voltage. It does not change direction. It is a direct uh, current source. This has become a direct current source. Okay, so, uh, you can obtain this uh, DC voltage source from AC voltage source just by putting one PN junction in the circuit. So, let me do some experiment here to give you some kind of a feel of this phenomena and then we will proceed further. So, now I have a unit here which is giving me AC voltage of which I can control the voltage by rotating this knob, uh, the peak voltage and from here I can also control the frequency of that uh, AC voltage. The voltage essentially appears here on this cable, there are two wires, in fact there is one central wire and then uh, you have a wrapped uh, coaxial uh, threads, copper threads. So, the voltage appears here and finally, I am taking that voltage and uh, taking it at these two points. So, for me, this is the AC source of which the peak voltage I can control from here, uh, uh, from here and the frequency I can control from here. So, what I will do is I will take a very low frequency signal from here and I uh, will put this directly into the galvanometer. So, that AC voltage will go into the galvanometer and the needle should deflect on both sides showing that it is changing direction, the current is changing direction. So, first let me do that much of it. So, let me put it on and then uh, I connect this galvanometer, the two ends of the galvanometer to these two points where I am getting my AC voltage. This is connected and this is connected. So, you can see that uh, the needle going on both sides, this side, that side, this side, that side. Frequency I can uh, further decrease or increase. So, I am decreasing the frequency this is the minimum I can do. If I increase the frequency, it will go more quickly. 
Okay, so it is in AC. It shows that it is in AC. It is changing directions. Now, in between, let me put this uh, diode in this circuit. Let me put the diode. So, I put this diode here. Since it is AC, it does not matter which side is P, which side is N. And then you will see. Can you see it is going only on the right direction, it comes back and again goes towards right, it is not hitting that left end anymore. So, through this diode, once I have put this diode, it only allows current in one direction and not in the other direction, the AC has become DC. If I invert this, if I invert this what happens? If I invert this, then you see it hits on the left side, not on the right side, because what was a reverse bias earlier has become forward bias, what was for forward bias has become reverse bias, therefore the direction of current is changed, but changed once for all. It is not that every cycle it is changing. This is how your uh, PN junction works as a basic unit of rectifier. If I if I give the very small voltage what happens let us see. Suppose at this voltage you do not see any current, you do not see any current, but if I remove this uh, diode and I put it here you can see some current. You can see some current. So, that shows that uh, this uh, assumption that we had taken that uh, just forward bias and you have a large current that is not true. You have to supply some initial voltage after which that, uh, that characteristic IV characteristic the exponential part starts only then it uh, works. So, let me increase this uh, voltage and you can see that yes now it has started going. All right. So, we will stop today's lecture here. This is a very bad kind of uh, DC. Uh, your DC should be a smooth DC constant in function of time, voltage as a constant as a function of time. So, next lecture we will see if we can improve this quality of DC by doing something.